Today we're doing some coolie hula chicken. We need to skew it up. I'm gonna throw that on the work this way. See you back out at the grill. All right, we're at the grill. Uh, let's get this chicken out. We're gonna be throwing a little bit of pecan on it. That's what I got. We'll be back in a few minutes, uh, probably about 15, 20 minutes. Check it out. See you back in a few. All right, it's been 20 minutes, let's check it out. It's time to get some color. It's time to get those juices flowing around. Now they're gonna bat it off, 20 minutes. Give it about another 15, 20, check back again. All right, spend another 15 minutes, let's check it out. Definitely got some good color. One thing about a rotisserie, self-basting. Should be much longer on these. Oh yeah, packing a few. All right, let's get an internal temp. And about 151 and change there. This one's reading up high. 160s. Let's check the legs. 157 on that guy. And 63 in that thing. We're gonna start basting this. A little bit of the marinade that we made in the beginning. You saved the cup for it. We have pineapple juice in here, some soy sauce, brown sugar. Grated up uh, ginger, some uh, garlic minced up, real tasty stuff. I'm gonna let this go for about another five 
five minutes, maybe a little bit longer. We'll check on it again in a few. All right, let's check it out. Check our internal temps here. We're done. I'm gonna shut it down now. We're gonna go back inside, let it rest for a few. We'll be back. Just a quick look around here. If anybody's wondering why it's, I'm called Behind the Garage Barbecue, because I'm actually behind my garage. I put this addition on a couple years ago. Sick of the rain coming down. We're in New England, we go year round barbecuing. Got an old char griller here. We use that for a lot of. Shish, shish kebabs and stuff like that. There's a Weber there. We use that one a lot. Gas one back there. We get the Weber Summit charcoal here. Another Weber Master Touch there. Some other grills inside the garage there. We got Gabby's grill in the back there. Uh, Weber Smoky Mon 22. We got the El Chara Rotisserie there. And we have an old one. An old Weber. That sits outside in the cold here. Use that mostly for like fire pits and stuff like that. We'll be back in a few once we uh, play it up. All right, let's get a look. That is juicy. Rest. You can see that. That's juicy. Let's give it a taste. Definitely got flavor from that marinade. You can taste that sweetness, that pineapple coming through. A little bit of soy in there. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.